Welcome to the Pluto Lounge, where we just chill. Alright. I'm definitely cheesing this a bit, <laughs> since I've done this fight a couple times before. But since I'm on honor mode, I think uh, I'd rather be a little bit safe than sorry for like my first good fight. But we got a bit of gear now, so I feel a little bit better about this. I've always been curious though. Nice. I took them right out. Another fight. Let's go. Oh wow, and these two are still not even in the fight, which is a trip. Fleet of foot. Love that so much. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Have to keep going. Damn, tough miss. <laughs> Let's play some music. And then let's get Austerian in this. Yes. Oh, damn. Let's have a little fun. I think I messed up my sequencing there a bit. Oh, I need to get Shadow Heart into this too. To come first. No time to dally. Oh. So if you're sneaking, then. Okay, that is really good to know. Damn. All right, Shadow Heart. Well, so much for peace. Quickly. <laughs> Easy peasy. Forgot about this. Just like old times. Keep them guessing. Hmm. 
Let's see. Like we can get that barrel over there. With Ignis! Your time has come. Ignis! Damn, I wasn't expecting that to hit Asterian. That's kind of unfortunate. Take your, your, your. Let the drummer kick. Oh, he's mad. Oh, Staring, you might die here, bruh. <laughs> he doesn't like the drums. Uh, that's a bug. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. Oh, and I took my movement too? Oh no, it's technically Austerian's turn. But. Oh no. Alright, Austerian, I just hooked you up. the door so that they can't shoot arrows at us from a distance. Damn, that was, that was pretty bad. Um, I don't... Maybe we can play it safe here. I'm only 50%. That's pretty bad. It's pretty decent. Not great. Yeah, I guess let's go for the 50-50. Then we'll probably hit up Austerian a little bit more. Damn, how did she die? <laughs> through the fire damage? I mean, she ran right through it. That's it's her own fault. Um, right, let's do that. And then we can flourish. Critical miss. Oh, that's pretty bad. Ooh, I need a shield. Oh man, so sick. Damn, my character still doesn't get a turn. Oh, can't even catch my breath. What the heck? <laughs> I guess it's alright. The rest of the team has handled this quite well. Good job, team. You couldn't have done it without me. Boy, the harpies. <laughs> Alright, let's deal with these harpies. Shh. Listen. Your favorite drownings all take place in shallow water. Just a slice of the ankle tendons. You shouldn't be standing out in the water. It's dangerous. Don't you hear it? It's so peaceful. I don't hear anything. Come back to shore. No, no. It's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Nope. Damn it. Oh, he's hypnotized. That's what happened. Oh, 
Ooh, multi attack. That's rough. What now? I'll skin you alive, Damn foul wretch! I'll make you pay. Damn, Asterion is pissed. Let's get a little bit of protection. Can we counteract it with my own music? That'd be actually pretty dope if I could. Attacks. Yeah, you two probably need some help. Nice. I'll take it. Good shield. So clutch. Wish there's a way I could clip those wings. Ah, uh, well done, Will. Well done. Bit risky. Wait, what? That's just a little bit of lag. <laughs> Very nice, Will. That was pretty dope. this before the fight. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Sorry, homie. I need to kill her first. Ah, oh, come on, Will. Gotta have more resolve than that. The Blade of the Frontier. Come on, baby. Still on my feet. Break out of the trance. I'll make you pay. Tough miss. Let's finish this. Nice. Life comes easy these days. Smart kid, he's getting the hell out of here. Well done. Uh, are they gone? Oh, oh, child, things are gonna get easier. Oh, child, things will get brighter. Who? Who are you? I'm Zelig, slayer of monsters, teller of tales, savior of you. The pleasure's mine. Wow. I'm Mercon. I. Oh no. I. I had to get the gold from the nest. Mole will be so mad, I got to go! Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donnie. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Donnie, huh? Here comes that girl named Donnie. You know, I've been thinking, and... I think there's something I should tell you. Nothing big or terrible. Just a small little detail about me that <laughs> hasn't come up naturally. <laughs> it's just that I happen to be a... Uh, what's the best way to put this? A vampire. <laughs> well, yes. Obviously. Right. Well. <laughs> Glad we got that out the way. So, was there anything else? How does someone become a vampire exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. They're obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. I'm a true vampire. In theory, people think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire 
is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. Tell me about your story. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. We are just exhausted. Lower the blade before you do something foolish. Bah. I cannot trust my own mind. So it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have milked that poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Poison? What's this girl's actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite? She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Sylvanas was more concerned with nobly sown seeds than punishing children, was he not? That sucked. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Damn. Hmm. 
No, I'm not gonna let this child get killed. <sighs> Thank goodness. <laughs> the words of the Tree Father, spoken plain. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Teela pierce it. These boots have seen everything. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. That Kaga seems dangerous. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Kaga seems happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin Court. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more. Sent into a world gone mad. I'm looking for Nettie. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. No one's looking for Halsin. I could do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. I like a more solid offer than anything. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. A deep elf. In our grove. On this day. A sign. Or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful broodmother than a beloved child of Loth? I have no love for the Queen of Spiders. Indeed. But you do exhibit a talent for self-preservation. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. Is it not her nature to strike at invaders? No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. This rite must be born of powerful magic. The rite of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. You must let them stay. They've done nothing to harm you. Nothing! They've done everything. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Then it seems I'd best speak to Zevlor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded. I see you. Just give me a moment. This medicatrix. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what? Trow. Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. Where did you see another drow? That's neither here nor there. Look, you obviously want something. What is it? Killing. Looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit 
tired around the eyes, maybe. No good way of putting this. I, uh, have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? What other kinds are there? It's not like a frog hopped in my eye. That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Don't worry about him on the table. I'm not in the habit of killing Drow. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. He and I have the same kind of parasite? Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'd like to stay, if it's all the same. All right. Let's see what we can do. Thank you. I'll take anything that can help. Of course. Now. Tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a Mind Flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look. You've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? You have my word. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk, and never once saw a Mind Flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of Mind Flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. You must have learned something from studying them. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. You said you're attracting other victims. Did they change? Hard to say. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected. Folks like you have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. So, go and get him. I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean, they won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? 
It sounds like you're making a lot of assumptions that could kill me. The way I see it, you have two options. Halson, or that wyvern poison. I don't envy your choice, truly. But this is the hand fate's dealt you. All right, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove, to me. I wish I could tell you more, but only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna, and Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there, and if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Why then, poison? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. <laughs> Agreed. Never seen. Pride of the gate. What are they? My face protects me. Time to kill. There's a mild glass in here. Darkest hour, harp and the druids turned to the harpers for help. Unusual for such a territorial group. The grove sported some rather interesting murals, I must say. They just reminded me of something half forgotten. It seemed to depict Lady Shah's warriors in combat. I hadn't known they were active in these parts. Shah's warriors? Care to elaborate? You know me. I'm not usually one to elaborate, if I can avoid it. They looked like Dark Justicias, an elite force among Lady Shah's ranks. Only the very finest proved themselves worthy of the title. Sounds like you aspire to join them. What right-minded servant of Lady Shah wouldn't? But it's a distant dream. The Dark Justicias have been silent for years. Curious to see them depicted in such a place. Perhaps there's more to it. But there's nothing to be done about it just now. The Dark Urge has taken Kaga's key from Asterion using magic pockets. You ever scare me like that again and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. No more light-fingered antics, right, Arabella? Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. Bells, it's our job to get us out of here safely. Not it's my job too. The druids don't care about us. No one does. We have to... Used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. <laughs> Not with that attitude. Fight and win. <laughs> There's optimism, and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? <laughs> Interesting. Sure, it's a bet. Excellent. 
And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Wait, did she just run game on me? <laughs> it kind of seems like it, but... Alright, cool. Did. Avernus changed things. Best we get used to that. Yes. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Leaving the grove is the best option. I can help. It's good of you to offer. But there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership and they'll scatter. The Blade of Frontiers has done what he can to help us prepare for the journey, and we are grateful. But it'll be a short journey if the goblins still own the roads. By the Triad, there is only one correct answer. Refuse him, and we sentence these people to die. Kill the Goblin Horde's leaders, huh? I'll see what I can do. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Historian, how is the rat Do you harass going? every old woman you meet? It may soon come to an end if you Just don't tell us where she now. is. We don't want any trouble. But you're bloody getting some if you don't fess up. The rat diets. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. Stop this. We... We won't ask again. Just because she's an old woman in a swamp, she's a hag? Lay off the fairy tales, lads. Sweetie, be careful! He's with the hag! Don't bloody stand there gaping! Get him! Wait, what? Why are you guys attacking me, man? I really don't want to kill them. Alright, I'm sorry, homies. I feel really bad about this. This is why you shouldn't just attack people. Like, these dudes are really weak, man. Why did they attack me? Like, it's just being dumb. Oh, my stars! I, I didn't mean for this to happen. Do you know this Mayrina they mentioned? She's their little sister, and she's staying with me. This is all my fault. But I made a promise. Mayrina begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her. And my word is my bond. That poor thing would be distraught. We can't let her know it would break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. Ethel's less helpless than she made out. I don't trust her. Yeah, me neither. 
Dear Joel and Demir, don't get mad. I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. <laughs> that didn't work. I guess you knew your brothers quite well. I'm going to the Hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he'd do the same for me. I'll be back soon. So not a word to ma'am, alright? She has enough on her plate. Keep an eye out for any passing vagrants. Wonder if the I'm afraid you'll have to content yourself with vagrant chickens. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Who cares about some pig? It's dead. The, the pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? These marks are strange. Do you recognize them? drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Damn, that was a clutch roll. Damn. like something is gonna happen. Oh, there we go. They won't know what bit them. This will do nicely. Damn, that was awkward. Starting this fight in this heavy water crap is awful. What is this? You know what? I think we got to play a little bit more defensively. We'll put you in a fog. No. Um, let the drummer kick.
Damn, that did hella damage. Why do these fools keep multiplying? How much movement can he freaking do? He like flew all the way here, attacked, and then flew there? Oh, that's freaking terrible. Ugh, this is a bit rough. Work. That was a rough mess. Damn this money crap. for the heroes. Oh, that is a huge disadvantage. Movement speed halved. Oh, man, that's rough. Alright. Yeah, I guess I can't be too gun shy about using my spell slots. Actually... We'll see it out. But I don't know if it's a good idea. Oh damn, unlucky. It's like maybe I should focus on killing these big dudes first, because these guys can multiply. Alright. Everything is okay. Now I wonder if I create water. If that will remove it. That sucks. That would have been a pretty cool interaction, but it is what it is. Get to him. We'll use a defensive flash. Oh, that just sucks. It reapplies mud if you kill, like, you hit them. That feels terrible.
But I gotta get to these big guys, I think. Too much to bear. I guess that kind of worked out. Try something else. Don't have a lot of options here. Advantages hurt. And why does Will have such a delay when he's casting his abilities? Okay, that works. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Damn, a crit is no bueno. To take that seventy five percent. Okay, we're making our ways through this. I just wish we could focus fire. That is the blade of the frontier that we know and love. All right, play some music, man. We need to lift our spirits. I swear, like, playing music feels like a taunt. That's alright, we're okay. Okay. 
situation. Like, I don't know if this is going to help at all, but I'm just giving it a try. I'm trying to get some advantage back on this guy so that we can kill him. Seems like it kind of worked. Almost dead. Now we can turn this thing around. All right, let the drummer kick, baby. Bang the drums, bang the drums. That is comedy. Damn, they do not like you, man. Let's do this. All 
There we go. Finally making progress. This whole time I didn't realize their explosions were doing damage. Alright, one more left. <laughs> what should I do? This is my time. Just missed everything. Uh. All right, how about you go back to sleep? Why did I do that? Oh man. I'm sure there's probably a far cleaner way to do that fight. <laughs> I just have no idea what that is. I think I started it really awfully too. Um, like I should have, like once I saw the enemies, I should have tried to spread out instead of uh, having Asterion go all the way out. But um, yeah, that was such an annoying, <laughs> annoying design fight though. Like they're duplicating and then when you kill them, they explode. And then they constantly mud you and stuff, and but you had a disadvantage. But they're a low threat. It just it was a long, tedious fight. It wasn't really a difficult fight, if that makes sense. A letter to Kaga. Oladana sent word of your progress. I am pleased that the rite of thorns has begun. I depart soon from Cloakwood to Botter's Gate. Should you need further aid from my circle, now's the time to ask. Once cloistered, the Emerald Grove will be the Shadow Druid's domain, and you, its first druid. In Fadron's memory, Archdruid Aelis. So Kaga is actually with the Shadow Druids. Damn, she's evil. Because, like, right off the bat, we first meet her. She's about to kill a little kid for just touching a statue. And then she wants to close off the grove and leave a bunch of tieflings out there to die. And then we find out that she just wants to close the groves so that the shadow druids can come and kill all the other druids. Like that woman is evil. Blood whispers. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlo. I know the truth. You mean to take the grove for the shadow druids. What?
that damn nose of yours has gone poking in our business. Mistress Ollerton, I can explain. Shh, shh. No need. It couldn't be helped. Koga, what is the meaning of this? You think yourself quite the spy, don't you? Go on, tell him. Forget it, rat. You can explain it yourself. You decline the honor. Very well. Alcin's always welcomed untouchables to your midst. Defiled the grove for the sake of harmony. We've come from Cloakwood to correct his mistakes. Cloakwood? Shadow Druid? Korga, have you lost your mind? Oladin speaks truth. Do you disagree? Would you see this grove in ruin? The choice is made. Koga, burn the tainted away. Start with the snitch. As you say, Oladin. You seem intent on forcing me to take your life. So be it. Oh, then come get it. What the hell is that? That did hella damage. Damn, she got straight into melee range of will. That's so annoying. Yeah, we got the wolf. Take two. Take two. <laughs> yeah, she's jacked. Ooh, hold person. Damn, those moonbeams hurt. Oh snap, Asterion is still not even in combat. She has a lot of health.
damn, she was tough. And then all of our other druids just ran away. place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps? The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. It's not every day one meets such a cavalier sinner as yourself a true bloody pleasure oh you're familiar with my work i'm rather the admirer of the sanguine arts even if i wasn't quite born under a killing moon myself shall we withdraw we have much to discuss to our mutual satisfaction this quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There. Middle of somewhere. Nice decor. The House of Hope. Where the tired come to rest, and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Well, hell, if you're offering. <laughs> Not easily rattled, I see. Good. Makes the next part that much more straightforward. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. And why would you help me? Because my compassion is boundless. I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. I need to think this over. Take all the time you need, but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. And if I do want to take this deal, how would I find you? I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet. Have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Oh, 
But hey, we got to keep the food. <laughs> yeah, it's like I knew I'm not gonna make a deal with the devil. I was just curious what his game was. So I figured I would just play along for a little bit.